Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today I've got something a little different for you guys. And I'm hoping some of you at least will find it interesting. Today we are reviewing a product that came to us in this hard case. Very long hard case. And on the back it says, May the force be with you. So Art Sabers reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test out one of their high quality lightsabers. And <laughs> I realized that it really doesn't have anything to do with the blind community, but if somebody says, hey, would you like to try out a lightsaber? Yes, yes, the answer is always yes. So let's set this aside for now. We're gonna come back and do an unboxing here in a minute. But here it is, this is the Luke version one Saber from Art Sabers. This is a NeoPixel Saber. This is the one we are taking a look at today. It is extremely high quality. We'll talk more about that. Huge thank you to Art Sabers for sending this out to me. Art Sabers has a ton of different lightsabers, replicas, cosplay pieces, even battle ready lightsabers that you can duel with. So definitely check them out. I will have a link in the description down below to Art Sabers and also the Luke V1 Saber directly. But right now I have the blade inserted into the lightsaber. You can remove the blade if you want to display the saber without the blade or if you want to hang it on your belts doing some cosplay. This has a ring here for clipping it onto your belt and really high quality. I mean, everything about this, I was super impressed with the quality when I first took it out. In fact, let's take a look at the unboxing real quick. In the box, which once again has a nice hard case with a handle, you actually get a lot of things. Of course, we get the hilt of the lightsaber. This is the base of the lightsaber and is the Luke Skywalker version. Then you get the blade. It is just a long plastic tube with a rubber cap at the end. Then you get some cotton gloves. Uh, similar to gloves you would use if you were handling like a very old book and you didn't want to get any of the oils from your fingers on them, you get a couple of those. Then you get a soft drawstring carrying bag for your lightsaber hilt and the bag is labeled Art Sabers. You also get a battery charger in the case and this is for the very large battery that is hidden within the handle of the lightsaber. Next, you have some documentation that comes with the lightsaber. You also have a display stand. This is an acrylic display stand, and you can use it to display your lightsaber when you're not using it. And finally, you get some hardware. You get a tiny little Allen wrench and some very small screws. Now, when you insert the blade into the handle, the hilt itself, there are three little screws in here that you need to tighten up, and that is what holds the blade into the handle. And you want to tighten those down pretty good. You want to be careful and not over tighten them and damage the blade. But if they're not tightened down enough, it would kind of slide out and lose connection with the electronics in the handle and your blade would turn off. Now on this particular model, you just have one button. You control the lightsaber by pressing and double pressing or pressing and holding, long pressing. Lots of different combinations will do different things. It has over 20 different sound fonts. And those are just different sound files, music files, sound effects, and you can cycle through those using the button here. This has what you can kind of think of as profiles. So you'll have a Luke Skywalker profile and it'll have custom sound effects for Luke Skywalker and include custom coloring for your blade. Then you can have an Anakin Skywalker, then you might have an Obi-Wan or even like a Darth Sidious and you can cycle through all of those and choose which one you want to use. This even has some unique ones like a Highlander. I think it even has like a Transformers. <laughs> so not necessarily Star Wars canon, but still really cool and fun to play with. Tell me, is this training? My training? No. Always training the universe is. So now to turn this on, we simply tap the button. I will make it easy. 
You have your swing sound effects, you have your impact sound effects, and you even have deflection, like laser deflection. Now I mentioned it has gestures, so I can do a little wrist flick to turn it off. Whatever happens, you're not alone. And you get a little sound font there at the end. Now, if I want to check out the next one, just press and hold the button. You better get on with your exercises. Okay, here's Obi Wan. I can do that wrist flick again to turn it on. And there's Obi Wan's, kind of a light blue. <laughs> okay, so it was a little too bright in my studio for you guys to get the full effect of the lightsaber. So let's check out some of these different sound fonts, or as I said before, they're kind of like profiles. Long pressing the button here cycles through your profiles. General Kenobi. General Kenobi. Check out another one. Anakin. Here's Anakin. Got a little bit more of a flicker to it. I am told it is the dark saber. The dark saber. Just a white. With some cool sound effects. And here's Luke. So this is Avengers themed. So we've got lots of flickering colors in here. Transformers. Nice. Crazy. Got a little light effect down at the bottom. Here's a Highlander. Got the lightning. Lightning and then the, uh, the light of the quickening. The lightsaber looks like the light of the quickening. And then we have sword sound effects. So it sounds like an actual sword. You can also use the lightsaber in somewhat of a muted mode. So it's just the lights, no sound at all. So if you were wanting to uh, do a little lightsaber practice in the middle of the night and you didn't want to wake everybody up, you can do that. Now with the NeoPixel Profi boards, you have a ton of customization. You have a ton of really cool features, including, like I said before, the sound fonts, which are basically just sound files. Uh, but you also have music. And each 
sound profile, you could say, has its own custom music. Whenever you get into the profile that you're, you want, you double tap the button and that will play the music. This one is some pretty cool music here. Very sinister. And of course you can even turn on the lightsaber while the music is playing. Yeah. And the music plays. This is one of my favorites. I don't know. Maybe I got a little dark side to me, but I love the evil red ones. This one just sounds awesome. Another benefit of the NeoPixel Profi boards is we can change the colors. If you love the sound effects, but maybe you're not crazy about the color that comes by default, you can change it. The way you do it is you flip it upside down while you're in the profile and the blade is turned on. You hold the button and you give the lightsaber a spin. And now we are in color mode. And as I turn the blade, I get different colors. Now I'm not gonna go through all the different things that this can do. I mean, you can change the volumes. You can do a ton of different things on this. There are great videos already out there on how to make adjustments on a, an Art Sabers NeoPixel Profi lightsaber. I'll include a great one in the video description down below. Okay guys, my final thoughts. I've been using this saber for a couple of weeks now and just playing around, having a great time with it. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I mean, I, I, I love the movies, you know, but I'm not deep into the Star Wars fandom like some people are. But as a tech guy, and as someone that did grow up in the 80s, I think this is awesome. If you are a Star Wars fan, a big time Star Wars fan, or if you have a loved one who is a big time Star Wars fan, this would be a fantastic gift. I am just very, very impressed by the build quality of this, the construction, then all of the crazy effects. I don't know how, I don't know what the technology of the blade is, but to get all the different effects that they can with this, it is pretty impressive. The battery life is also very impressive. Like I said, I've had this for about a month, month and a half now. I've used it a ton and I've only had to charge the battery twice. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, let's wrap it up on that. Okay, guys. So this is the Luke version 2 Saber NeoPixel Profi Board lightsaber from Art Sabers. As I said before, I will have a link in the video description down below. I've been looking at the wrong place. I've been looking at this camera. Ah, too many cameras. I will have a link in the video description down below where you guys can pick this up. And there may or may not also be a discount code listed in the video description down below so you can get some credits off of your next lightsaber purchase. A huge thank you once again to Art Sabers for sending this out to me. That's it. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time. Bye.